hide their feelings and they don't express you like how you doing today oh i'm fine you don't sound like oh my stomach hurt or i have a headache or and that's just fake to me you know what i mean you don't want to go say to everybody that your stomach hurt because nobody really cares i mean the me 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 world but being in hollywood and seeing the cameras and seeing the celebrities and the live audience and always been a show off since i was a little kid but this is that and that was best friends with harvey he was a national tv star that died young i played sports with will smith when i was a kid and uh, ran for class president in the Marine Corps. I was a squad leader. And that's a funny story. Let me put that out. See, I, I'm a squad team, so I bring them thoughts. And uh, uh, I joined the Marine Corps. I was 19 at the time, I think. It just killed a lot of people in Beirut, Lebanon. And uh, so I was in basic training. This, I'm, a, I'm a true story. This is how it was. So we went to the hotel, right? I joined the Marines. So I saw a movie called Officer and a Gentleman. And that really influenced me. I was homeless. And I was like some shelter or something and I said yeah I'm gonna join the Marines for the uniform so they signed me up right away so I went and signed for the Marines and um, me in the hotel everybody young guys like my age we all laughing joking yeah we got this we got this we get on the bus this was down Paris Island South Carolina in the middle of the night and we still on the bus like yo man yo da, 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 da. they came on the bus like get the F on one bus now you have to make it get on one bus and they were screaming at us and we were like running around like this and then for 24 hours so people think about going to the military, this is what it's like. So they shave our heads off, you know what I mean? And then our hair off. And then we was like this. And they had this, uh, I was always hyper as a person. And I remember I was too hy hyper. And they was like, yeah, we like the energy. So they made me a squad leader. So I remember I was climbing the rope. You got to climb the rope. I did like three times. They had fat people and they couldn't do it once. I was showing off even at that age, like my legs up. And the drums like, do it again, do it again. I said, yes, Joe Sergeant. I did it three times. He just looked at me. So I was a squad leader. So I'll get to the story. So we marched and we go, live. Right, left, and I got very short attention span. And Mo knows that, and most people that have known me throughout life know I'm very perceptive in terms of things that I can relate to. So I, I, I'm pretty smart. But make a long story short, so we marched to left, 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 right, left, right, and then I lost my train of thought. And he's everybody went right, about 13, 14 guys in the back of me. I went left, and they came up to me, You don't know you left when you're right, you intelligent ass private, you're not a squad leader. Get off my, and he was yelling at me. And I was like 19, I raped the homeless, I didn't get along with my family. And I was like, yes, no, Sergeant. I went back in the line, and everybody saw the movie, filled my little jacket. I started getting belligerent and belligerent. So one day, if you anybody been in Marine Corps knows this, you gotta be able to bounce a quarter off your bed. You gotta be that tight. You gotta be a triangle. Uh, it's 40 years, but I still remember, you gotta be a triangle. So we came and do the more stuff, more of games early in the morning. I was walking into the barracks, the bunk, and I saw my three beds on the floor. My, one, 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 one of them. So they came up to you, three drill sergeants. They were all spinning in my face and telling me, you, yeah. So I don't know if I had an emotional breakdown or whatever. I just blew up. I'm like, yo, man, F you, F you, F you. I don't care about this John Wayne BS. I don't, and I went off. And they was like, yo, yo, yo. They didn't expect that. So they put me in the office and said, listen, uh, you got a choice. You've been there, what, five weeks? We can start you over again? Or I said, no, I want to go. So then they made me see a psychiatrist, right? And I swear up my life, just what he said. He was, I was only 19, and I wasn't no bad kid. And he was like, um, well, you, you know, I want to start over again? I said, no. He said, so, um, you know the Marines, you have to uh, harm people, kill people. You got a problem with that? And I said, yes. And he looked at me like I was crazy. And I was like, anybody should have a problem with that. But that's how that, me young, you program, me psychological. Anyway, anyway, so anyway, I went too far.